there's a huge difference. I'm actually very impressed. This feature alone might be worth the $7 for me. Hey guys, I just came across this super interesting tool. I know there've been a lot of tools when it comes to image processing, editing, uh, expanding and all that, but this one actually seems to does it all. It does it pretty well on my first look and it does it relatively cheaply. This is called Clip Drop by Stability AI. This is what the website looks like. Go to clipdrop.co. They basically explain already what, what you can do here. You can remove persons, you can remove text, upscale images, you can relight, uh, but you can also do more. I'll just show you the pricing here. Now it looks like all the features are available, but here you go. If you want to do a monthly subscription to try it out, it's nine bucks a month. And then the annual comes down to about seven. But what does ClipDrop do and why do I actually like it? Here they basically describe the most interesting tools that they have. And the first one that I tried out was actually Relight because I wanted to see how this works. Okay, let me drop in my profile picture here. Paid plan, you get the HD mode. Right now we're on the free plan because I literally just discovered this. I thought I want to show it and discover it with you. And the way this works is you have those three different colors. You can change the color. Let's say we want to turn this more white it basically creates a 3d map a depth map of your face and then you can move the image the lights around uh, you can move them back and forth left and right and you kind of see what it does pretty cool huh it's not perfect obviously but it's it's pretty fantastic so this is number one i really like this you can play around with it obviously those are very extreme colors now you can delete the blue one uh, it would be cool if it would actually have reflections in the eyes but we're not there yet I already like that you can kind of put it back and forth, which is you can get a nice rim light here on the side. And you see how only a few parts of the face are lit, right? Depending on how, how far it's in the back. Because this, this photo was a little bit too dark, to be honest with you. I created a little bit too dark. And so you can use this until it clips here in the highlights. But anyway, this is it. Let's go to the next one. But what does actually stable diffusion look like? Let's see. I had this prompt here recently, which is isometric um, digital illustration. I'm not going to add a specific style, but let's see what happens if you generate it. Again, if you have the subscription, then you can skip the line. Otherwise, you have to wait a little bit. You can see how many process uh, images are in the queue before they start working on yours. <coughs> okay, so this is it, pretty basic. Um, employee training, I get it. They stand on the desks here, I guess. So it's not perfect. This is kind of nice. Uh, let's generate another one. It's not the worst. Let me see. This is the one that I generated with Midjourney. And this is the one that I just generated now with Stable Diffusion. So you can kind of see how it comes out. You can also add the style to re-roll it. Let's say digital art. Let's see what's going to do. Maybe a little thicker lines, you know, kind of like this one a little more than the others. It goes in the direction, a little more abstract. And you get the watermark here with the free version as well. Okay, so this is that. It's not the worst. Definitely not at Midjourney's level yet. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we had a relight. We had generating images, remove backgrounds, replace Im backgrounds. Okay, yes, this is nothing new. This one here is a new feature that they just rolled out with today. Okay, let's just take this one of my daughter. Here you go. And let's say I want to increase it in height. And then we just go on expand or un uncrop. Oh man, there's a, a huge waiting line now. Just a moment ago, there was no waiting line. So I guess I wasn't the only one who saw this <laughs> coming up. Okay, so we're at two images waiting. I think I'm just going to get the subscription after this. It does look fun. I just don't know if I have personally the use for, for it right now. But let's see what it does. Okay, and here we go. This is not too bad. Actually, you know how I mentioned that it has some issues with depth of field? It seems like it kind of adapted really nicely. You see the clouds. Let's see the other suggestions. Uh, see there, it got a little creative, but it clearly picked the best one in the beginning. So anyway, guys, this, this is pretty interesting. I like this. You can, 
uh, see a couple of other things here as well. I'm going to check the upscaler for a recent project that I worked on. It's called Lux, Lux Layers. And those are basically digital backdrops packaged for sale. Okay, so this is the version that we just made. This one here is a little bigger because it was just resized by a bigger amount. But check this out. So this one here on the right side was done with Photoshop, okay? Um, and even at this scale, which is somewhat similar, it's actually a little bit closer in than this one, you can see that there are mu there's much more detail here. Even if you go into the feathers, there's a lot more artifacts going on here. Whereas here that we just created online, it seems like a little bit more, like a lot more detail actually. Also here, if you look at the wall, here this, I don't know how much you can see that on the video now, but there's a huge difference. I'm actually very impressed. This feature alone might be worth the $7 for me. Uh, and this is only their lowest upscale. So this is times two. I wonder what the others would do, which is crazy. Um, Gotta check that out. And remember, you can also get all these as plugins for Photoshop. So, you know what? I think I'm sold. I might check this out. But this is the short demo that I wanted to show you about this new tool that was actually, it was at least new to me with stability.ai, uh, which is called Clip Drop. Let me know your thoughts, your comments in the section below. I would like to know if you think it's a good deal, if you see a use for that. And if you played around with it before or if you're excited to try it out and I'll see you in the next one.